Jim's back and something new to talk about. A lot of things to talk about yeah. actually tonight. First of all, <laughs> the sunset this morning, we had all kinds of pictures coming in from our viewers. Oh, it was just beautiful. gorgeous. This little low pressure area out in West Texas has been providing the right kind of clouds for nice sunrises and nice sunsets. And this morning's sunrise was something else. Take a look at this one from Hayes County. Just absolutely beautiful. Now, we're hoping that this disturbance is far enough east of us tomorrow that we don't have many clouds at sunset because we're going to be treated, if we can see it, to a rare sunset eclipse tomorrow, an eclipse of the sun as it goes down. We're going to be talking more about that tomorrow all day long, of course, but you can read more about it right now. It's on our main page and on our weather blog on KXAN.com. Well, we've been tracking some showers. There's that disturbance, bringing a little bit of rain into the hill country. Now, a lot of this is evaporating before it gets to the ground because we're kind of dry down in the lower levels of the atmosphere right now. In fact, about the only thing that's really making it to the ground is uh, this activity out in uh, Blanco County. Uh, some patchy light rain there. Some of it may be getting up north of Dripping Springs toward uh, Lake Travis and some patchy light rain out in Gillespie County. But I think for most of us tonight, it's going to be sprinkles, and that's going to be just about it. Temperatures, though, are wonderful. Again, <laughs> mid-60s, low 70s out here in our Hill Country counties at this hour. In the metro area, it is a fantastic October night. Uh, upper 60s to mainly low 70s, right around 72 in many places, and 60s to right around 70 in our eastern counties. From the Estonian tonight, skies overhead are partly to mostly cloudy, actually mostly cloudy, 73 in the city, 68 degrees out at the airport. Uh, winds are 3 miles per hour in town. They're not blowing at all at ABIA. Mold count nearly doubled today, not quite, but almost over 3,000. Ragweed and grass low. Temperatures wonderful across the state. A little cooler back to the west because we've seen some light rain pretty consistently here uh, today west of us all the way up into Oklahoma. This little trough of low pressure is finally moving to the east. It's really weakening as it does. It's been running into this ridge of high pressure that's been blocking it all week. That's why it's been moving so slowly. But again, it should be hopefully far enough east tomorrow that we have some uh, sun at sunset. We can see that eclipse. Not looking directly at it though. Kids, if you're up late watching tonight, read about that on the weather blog. There are safe ways to look at it. All right, nice evenings, cool mornings. We'll continue through Friday. Pleasantly warm afternoons. In other words, no change from what we've been seeing. But this weekend, it might not be so pleasant. There's going to be a ridge of high pressure strengthened over Texas, all the way up to Kansas, by the way, for the Texas Longhorn game. It's going to be beautiful up there. It's actually going to make it hot. Record high temperatures might be threatened here Saturday and Sunday, meaning right around 90, 91 degrees. And then this is the two-week forecast. Takes us past election day to November 5th. Warmer than normal weather continues in week two. Unfortunately, drier than normal weather too. Real quickly on this little tropical depression, uh, this thing has just fizzled out. It's moved on to shore now. Hurricane centers issued their last uh, discussion on it, their last advisory on it. It'll move down toward the Caribbean, so you folks have been worried about it with vacation plans down there around Cancun or Cozumel or Belize. Don't worry about it. Tonight, upper 50s, low 60s. Tomorrow afternoon, low 80s. Let's get you to the seven day. In Austin, I think sprinkles tonight. If you actually get a light rain shower, you'll be lucky. 83 tomorrow, partly cloudy, seven day forecast. Here we go. Uh, here comes the warm weather this weekend. 90. If we hit 90 on Sunday, we'll tie a record. The record on Saturday is 91. Week front, next Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll drop our temperatures closer to normal and bring us only a very slight chance of a little rain.